Hello everybody, Ardrim here, and welcome back to Victoria 3. A uh, new patch just came out, 1.5, as well as a new flavor pack DLC, uh, Colossus of the South, which concentrates on South America. And basically just gives more events that happen in uh, countries in South America. I think I'm gonna play as Bolivia. Uh, let's start it. So the biggest thing in the 1.5 patch is they changed... Well, they added a lot of core mechanics. Including you can start companies now. Which give you bonuses. Like if you start this company, livestock, ranches, building throughput, so you'll produce 10% more meat. Textile... Produced 10% more textile mill throughput. Plus 10% colony growth speed. Uh, let's take a look. We have an event going on. The Peru Bolivian Confederation. <laughs> so basically, uh, the Bolivian intervention in the Peruvian Civil War has led to the territories of Peru falling under the control of supreme protector of bolivia so uh as long as our government legitimacy is 50 or above for 10 years all of this will become one country i'm assuming these are yep puppet states okay let's take a look at our government well, it's at 59, so we're good. Uh, I'm guessing th there's going to be a catch. There's always a catch. Ecuador damage in relations. Why? You're tiny. Why would you... What? I could make you a protectorate now. Do you have a lot of... Oh, before that, do we have interests in... Oh, if I can make them a protector, I must. Let's declare interest in the rest of South America. Oh, well, that's it? I guess we can't declare too much. Uh, Brazil is our biggest neighbor. Let's, uh, let's make friends. Alright, what is going on with our industry? We have nothing. We more have more nothing. We have gold. That's good. Um... We are producing 1,500 for three, so 500 per month. Oh, we're infrastructure. We can't improve our infrastructure because we have no railroads. Uh, railroads. What's that's already being automatically researched. Uh, let's start on this. Hopefully that'll automatically finish. Uh, I'm, yep, I'm assuming that's gonna be an issue now. Every state we have... I have one state that's on the coast. And almost every state has a bunch of negatives. Minus construction efficiency, minus construction efficiency. That's the only one that doesn't have a ton of negatives. Mm, we can get more gold. Uh, infrastructure, uh, construction first. Let's, let's get a construction office here. And here. I'm gonna need iron, right? 
for second phase, uh, we have iron frames unlocked, but to get them we need 50 iron, is that per construction? Office or total? Anyway, let's get an iron mine going. We can at least offset infrastructure by making ports in this area. Uh... Can build gold mines here. What's our infrastructure? Zero four. Wonderful. Let's get a construction office and a gold mine. Infrastructure grows on its own, right? I wish there was a better breakdown. The Age of Cadillos. Following the living in uh, independence from Spain, a power vacuum was left in place of the colonial government, which was quickly filled by charismatic armed forces leaders. These Cadillos have come to define much of South American politics. Uh, this is gonna be... Not good, isn't it? Uh, the state of proper progress bar will determine by various positive or negative conditions. I wish you'd tell me what the positive and negative conditions are. So if we leave them in, we'll complete. Right now it's failing. So if armed forces are not in the government and the progress bar empties out, <laughs> the military is going to become more powerful. And if it fails because they're still in power and the progress bar fills up, they'll be even more powerful. So no matter what you do, the military is going to be the most powerful faction in the game. Well, that's going to be interesting. Uh, do I want them in control or do I not want them in control? That's going to be the next question. I probably don't want just one interest group having all, all of control. Let's see if we can get them out of the government. But I need to keep my government... Uh, <laughs> uh, if my government stability is not over 50, I can't unite the uh, Peru Bolivia. Catholic Church and landowners are the most powerful. What laws will you give me? Oligarchy, landed voting, culture exclusion, hereditary bureaucrats, peasant levies, no. Consumption-based taxation, no. Restricted childhood labor, that's actually probably a good idea. That increases uh, education, right? Plus 15 dependence income, plus one max education. But it increases mortality for farmers, laborers, and peasants. Wait, what? Oh, restricted. So it's not completely gone. Okay. Compul compulsory, compulsory primary school. I wish this would increase edu uh, research. If you have more educated... That this this law makes no sense the way it is now it's nice that it adds education institution investments but it also should make your population more intelligent well not more learned 
maybe make them learn things faster maybe even attract intelligentsia or something right now it just eh, I guess but I'm guessing these are all the laws they're more neutral on than anything else oh no that that's the ones we can put past with current government uh let's see you'll be 32 if we had only the Catholics 34 they want monarchy yeah Chris oh I I was looking at the wrong section wasn't I religious schools charity hospitals public health insurance wait what's public health insurance what is this is this a new law? Oh, that's... They changed it. Because it used to be an old health system, charity, hospitals. Oh, no, 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 that was in the old game. Never mind. Which, private health insurance is pretty good if you can get your, uh standard of living pretty high it's actually better if your standard of living is low then i think public health insurance is better oh no they changed it Yeah, they changed it. Well, that, that's... Now only the rich get good health care. It doesn't matter if you have higher standard of living or not. I, yeah. Okay. Uh... Let's go with the land owners for now. Can I get no? Because I think they have a lot more laws we can change. Let's uh, dedicate police force. Who's going to be against it? Rural folk. Professional army. I want to keep that. Autocracy. We can go to landed voting. Which would actually improve. Universal suffrage is the goal. But for now... Well, let's see if there's anything easier we can enact. Dedicated police force, I think, will be the easiest. Let's do that. Do I want to make you a protectorate? Who's going to be upset? Uh, England. Brazil. Let's improve relationships with England. This might be a horrible mistake. Let's... But you kind of started it. Declare rivalry. And make protectorate. Oh, what's going on? The capture of Philippe Salaveri. With the capture of the self-proclaimed Supreme Chief of Peru, Supreme Protector Andres de Santa Cruz is finally consolidating his control over both Peru and Bolivia. No, we haven't. They're still separate. 
Salaveri's capture represents the final act of the Peruvian Civil War. We can have him executed or exiled. Yeah, less uh, radicals is always better. Exile? Are you gonna get any... F Ooh, England is helping you. And that was a horrible mistake. Wait, I... Oh, there we go. We can get Argentina to help us. If you gave them a uh, Bolivian Amazon? No. Not giving you a territory. So we are gonna get decimated. made a huge mistake. I didn't think England would... If I back down... Hopefully I can get conquer them before England even gets here. Oh, and military is different now. You have to build individual... Uh, so if you go to a state, you can't just build barracks. It says five barracks are built. But you can see their line infantry. And the only way to build them, you can't build them from a state. You have to go to military. At least that's the only way I've found. Select the army you want to reinforce. Then you can add battalions. Lancers, cannon artillery, or line infantry, and then you have to select which province to add them in. Hopefully the English don't get here in time. Two arms. Ooh, this might go very well or horribly bad. Yep, it's fully captured. Yeah, even though England supported them, I don't think... We are still at war with England. Uh, can we just make peace? The English still want to liberate Amazonia. That's that's wonderful. Why am I losing faster than England? They are not attacking. They're I guess I'm going to lose. And I'll have to reconquer Amazonia. Why am I losing? Can I just have my army stand down? Just have them stationed in their HQ. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. And there's nothing I can do about it. I have no navy.
I losing a lot by Amazonia? I this, this this is Amazonia, right? Is this what they want? Yeah, I guess there's nothing I can do. We're infamous? 40... what? Just from that one battle? What? This is... is something broken? Okay. Something is majorly broken in this game. more sugar we can get that we can actually grow more sugar infrastructure is down oh. let's build the port and we need more clippers uh Shipyard? A legitimate government? What? We just passed a law that they wanted. armed forces oh that's why we're losing they keep raiding our so England is a major bully in this one huh at least it's not going past zero so I think once it both of them are at zero we can just make white peace Because at some point, they'll lose a lot of money. Ah, okay, let's just keep developing our country slowly. Stop piling gold. Yes, I am. Uh, what else can I build? I need more iron. And probably start building universities. Because we need better technological research. Legitimate government. Uh... Could put Catholics in charge. When is our next election? And how close are we? This is not going down at all, is it? It is going down very slowly. The Great Hunger? What? Need to raise our standard of living much faster. Great crop failure. Wonderful. The problem is I can't do much because our infrastructure is so horrible. I could lower taxes. And let's put sales tax on tobacco. Uh, liquor? Not that we're producing that much. see 
Wait, why is Ecuador not my... What is going on? It's a protectorate. I'm assuming that means the same as a puppet, right? When can we subjugate them? Or, I mean, absorb them? So not until this, uh, 1841, okay. So this is just gonna, they're not landing troops, they're not invading. Gold rush. Plus 125 migration, let's spread the word. What is going on? Our shipyard is missing. What are you missing? Oh no, we are missing clippers, which we are about to solve that problem. Hopefully. More gold. That's actually decreasing, so that's good. Our standard of living is going up. Wait, what? What's this? Oh. Well, Brazil is different now. That's not the normal Brazilian flag, is it? Oh, they, I guess they became a presidential republic. Okay. Atmospheric engine unlocked. Laves unlocked. I think I... What do I... Uh, I need mechanical tools. And then we can grab railways. Seven years. What's going on here? You are short on small arms. Uh, let's produce some small arms here. We are producing iron here. We are short on staff for our iron mines. Is that because we don't have enough population or not enough qualified workers? We can go to atmospheric engines. We need coal. I don't think I have any, do I? Uh-oh. So, I have no idea what's going on. I fought a war. So, they're just a protector. And rivalry? We don't want to be rivals with our own... Let's begin them. 
Oh, nope, they're already damaged, so... I see England has a lot of mobilized troops, but they're not invading. Are you ready to propose? Yep. There we go. We are at peace. Begin improving relationships. Yes, uh, I can't annex a subject. Oh, not until November 17th. Okay. Artillery? W what, are t what are you talking about? I have no artillery, do I? I don't. Oh, my, must be one of my subject has till Okay. We are short on a lot of things. Tools, let's see. What? Why are you taking me... That's weird. Uh, usually when you click on a good, it just take you, takes you to the market, but not anymore. Uh, infrastructure is okay here. Let's build another tool production. Shop. We can upgrade to... Do we have enough iron? We don't have enough iron. Because we don't have enough workers in this area. Uh -oh. We are about to have a shortage of coal. Um. I import some at a loss, but that's fine. Our taxes as low as they can go. We are still making a lot of money, I'm not complaining. Our government legitimacy is going up slowly. Property women, we could do that. Plus five workforce. Except that will probably start a revolution from the Catholic Church. Which is getting... Let's do that. Let's suppress that group. Uh, interest group. Uh, let's give it a little bit of time. Then we'll try and pass that law. Southern Peru peasant revolt diplomatic play against us. Okay. Why is this still growing? Yeah, this bar is growing. Uh They a bar should be depleting, right?
Yeah, it's grown. Armed forces are not part of the government. It should be depleting because I'm... We need census suffrage or universal suffrage, which there's no way to get. That's impossible. Uh, so it's a basically impossible to do that. Let's at least pass land voting for now. That should increase maybe our legitimacy uh let's stop to arms i should have mobilized my army a while ago so it's not unheard of for things to be bugged in this uh, game, but I was hoping it wouldn't be one of the bigger countries. Because this is still growing, and there's no way to poop pass the laws they are demanding. I'm guessing they just want you to fail. I guess, yeah, that's fine. What can you do? Um, we need paper. Let's produce some paper. Discord within the intelligentsia. want the intelligence here to be stronger okay uh what what other bonuses plus one government size allowed that means we can have another interest group in here which should increase our legitimacy if we have another I hope we have... Ooh, uh, sorry, I stopped there. I hope we have a uh, railroad soon. It's getting there. Uh... So in about three years, that that's okay. That's okay. I don't have the infrastructure to support railroads, which we need for infrastructure. This is hilarious. buy a lot of goods at a loss for now because I must I guess it's not that much man of war I don't have navy why would I That's okay. I'm probably gonna do a 45 minute video. Our, ooh, our bureaucracy is really bad. That means our taxes are not good either. Let's build a few government administrations, which we don't have the infrastructure for. And government administrations increase infrastructure, don't they?
before that, can I annex Ecuador? I cannot. I guess I can't have puppets. We can reduce their autonomy, which make them a puppet, I believe, right? Oh, a Dominion, and then you can turn them into a puppet. And England are going to be uh, on our case again, aren't they? Infamy is down. I have no idea why it got so much infamy. From that first war, it, it just skyrocketed for no reason. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna- I don't want to start any wars for now. But I think, yeah, I'll have to reduce their... This is still growing. Mechanical tools unlocked. Steel tools, I can't do steel tools. We can do wrought iron tools. Uh, sulfur pulping. We don't have any sulfur. Well, let's do sulfur, pulp sulfur, sulfur pulping. And I'll probably just... Uh, this will give us a little bit more money. But yeah, I, I can import some sulfur. Our gold mines are producing enough money. It's not a major problem. I'm gonna go to iron frame buildings. This is, yep, as I expected. Let's increase Im Encourage resource industry. Let's do that. Hopefully that makes uh, more, well, produce more iron and gold. That should produce a lot more gold. And that's where we're getting a lot of gold, our gold fields. Okay, uh, that was another bug, I'm assuming. There we go. I'll be importing your loss, that's fine. Oh, not gonna import. Uh, stock exchange unlocked, that's good. Yeah, I'm starting to lose money. Why am I losing so much money? Brazil is fighting a war. What is this? Which reminds me, I should be passing a law on... What is going on with this law? Why hasn't it passed yet? As soon as this is, is probably when this passes, I might try and annex Ecuador. What is going on here? Grassroots support for the law. Okay. 
can get more loyalists. Let's just... 78% success chance. I, I mean, it... Come on, just pass. Yeah, we have a lot of local input shortages. I don't have the infrastructure to do this, but let's do it anyway. Oh yeah, they also added pollution. That's another new mechanic. Which pollutions, it's, it can be okay if properly implemented, but I've yet to see more than a couple games where they implemented pollution properly. You just get a lot of negative bonuses and you can't get rid of them. It's basically, the game tries to kill your industry. It any cost possible and nothing else uh, I still need more government administrations don't I can I upgrade my Go to filing cabinets. We'll need more paper. Uh, which shouldn't be a problem. We're about to build a paper. We have lented voting. Nice. So... They want cultural exclusion. We will see what we can do. What will that do? Yes, it's a step above racial segregation. Multiculturalism is not an option yet. What is... We can reform government. Industrialists would actually be. Let's put them in power. When is our election? Do we have. Oh, yep. 1846. So we're about to have an election. Still an unacceptable government. We'll see who wins in the election. What kind of laws can we pass now? Go to poor laws. Hmm. 
let's uh let's go to schools plus 10 education access plus 20 yep yeah, let's at least go to religious schools for now that's fine because that should increase our standard of living as well right and yeah i need more government administrations I need sulfur. Whoa. Railroads unlocked, finally. Uh, what do I need for motor industries? Steel. <laughs> uh, of course. Coal and steel, which I have no access to coal. Yeah, I need to unify through Bolivia. Which is not gonna happen unless... Well, not until after the election. Let's see what happens during the election. Wait, who won? The Conservative Party. Who is the Conservative Party? That'll have to do. Because I need to unify the country first. Uh, is there... Desperate allies, the proposal for religious schools has sat in a deadlock. The Catholic Church have advocated for enlisting Pablo Montez assistance in rallying the rural folk in favor of government. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, what do I need next? in my research and it's almost time to end this first video which I, I usually like to make them a little bit longer uh, modern sewage four years let's take it that'll increase our infrastructure a little bit for now Plot a coup. To plot a coup. Marino Enrique Calvo has grown discontent with the Bolivian government's institutions. Conspiracy is forming among the landowners to launch a coup against the government and establish autocracy. I don't think I want an autocracy, do I? No, let's keep an eye on him.
The landowner's uh, support in the diplomatic corps has have offered to reach out to the British government for support in their bid for power in return for certain future obligations. I don't want the coup. What is going on? I guess it's another event. Landowners don't even want autocracy. What is going on? This is not their bug. The landowners are against autocracy. I. Uh, that's the problem with the flavor packs. Uh, Chile just declared war on us. Let's just bunker Santiago. What is our infamy at? Eleven point six. I don't think you want to go over twenty five. There, we'll leave them that little tiny bit. England will help us. If we become their subject. Or if we give them... Yeah, I don't want to give you any of that. They have a bigger military. But our ally has a military as well. Academic assistance, the teacher of our highest institutions of learning have offered to advise the government in the implementation of religious schools. Nope. 10% is enough. Critical support. <sighs> yeah, it's time to end this video. How do I mobilize... Uh, conscripts. we not have conscripts? I guess not. Alright, we'll see what happens in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing. Maybe hit that like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you all next one. Bye.